Uh, which of the following genetic mutations is most likely associated with this patient's condition? A 22-year-old man presents to the clinic with a family history of early onset colorectal cancer. His paternal and paternal, oh God, okay, so his father and paternal grandfather were both diagnosed with colorectal cancer in their early 40s. Patient is asymptomatic and has no significant past uh, medical history. Colonoscopy is performed, reveals numerous adem uh, edematous uh, polyps throughout the colon. So I'm immediately thinking about like, well, he has a strong family history of colorectal cancer, the presence of many polyps throughout the colon, something about FAP and Lynch syndrome. Um, I would probably narrow that down to FAP because of the, like the presentation of the polyps. Where, where do you want it to be? Sorry, I can't see hear you. You said APC? Yes. Okay, uh -huh. perfect. Okay. Final answer? Yes. Good. Right? So, right, familial adenomatous polyposis, right? Bunch of bunch of polyps. But like you said, you know, BRCA1, BRCA2, right? Usually associated with breast and ovarian, right? Um, MLH1, right? This is Lynch syndrome. Okay. Um, increased risk of colorectal cancers, but you can get other things too. So they might mention that. Okay. But not a bunch of polyps though. And then T. TP53, right? Leaf from mini syndrome. This is super, super not good, right? Um, so um, shouldn't be, you know, shouldn't be the case because you're going to get all sorts of cancer, skin, colon, liver, right? Um, brain, right? So definitely for sure, best answer is going to be APC here. Mm -hmm. Okay.